Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here, and it's day number 132. I think that's right. Uh, <laughs> daily vlogging. Um, so uh, today I want to talk about something that I don't normally talk about. So, so usually here on my blog, I like to keep things light and fun and cheerful and yay. <laughs> um, but I did want to talk about go over some like, you know, I just got back from Disney. I get, oh, I've been back for like. A whole week already man that's sad <laughs> anyway I wanted to talk about some like so I did a video of highlights from my trip so I wanted to talk about some lowlights not that there's many but I mean it happens it happens you know and you just have to kind of like pick up and reschedule or whatever <laughs> Um, I can't think of the right word right now, but you know what I mean. Not reschedule, that's wrong. Just like, um, just like, you know, pick yourself up and come up with a different plan and go for it. <laughs> um, so some of the lowlights. One, which I talked about in my Ask Ash video, and I talked about basically in every single video while I was there, is... It was really hot, <laughs> really, really freaking hot. Um, the mask situation did not help. It would have been hot either way. So it's not like, oh yeah, if I didn't have my mask on, I would have been cool all of a sudden, but it just would have been slightly better. It's like hard because then like with the mask on your face and your face starts sweating and then it's just like, it's just like wet and sweaty on your face all day long and like it's harder to breathe and it's already hot and humid and uh so that was rough um and like when I went last summer it was equally as hot when I was in there in August but also it was like way at the beginning of when they opened so there was like basically no one there so it was a little bit easier to tolerate the heat and the mask when like there's literally no one around you like people generate a lot of heat <laughs> so like the closer you are to people like the the more crowded it is the more you're gonna like feel hot you know does anyone you know what I mean <laughs> so like it was slightly easier to to bear then but so but now basically right after I came home um Disney changed their, Disney World, not Disney in general, Disney World changed their mask policy to be, you can optionally have a mask on in outdoor areas. So like if I'm just standing at the hub, minding my business, watching my castle, um, I could stand there with no mask on and no one will be upset with me. <laughs> or like when you're walking from attraction to attraction, as long as there's like space in between you and someone else, then you're, you can have your mask off. But like you still need it on all the um, all transportation, all rides, um, all lines, r regardless of their inside or outside, all indoor areas. Um, so like restaurants and stores and whatever else you could be going inside for, um, all that you still need to wear it. So, um, like, just keep that in mind. It's not like totally mask free yet, but I mean, while I know a lot of people will still, like, choose to have it on, it would, it's just nice to have the option of, like, when you get really, really hot to be able to take it off and not get yelled at and just, like, breathe for a minute. Um, that will be really great. Okay, so the heat. The heat was a low light. Um, <laughs> uh, something else that was a low light for me was, um... I just, I felt like I didn't do, like, I know I did a lot of things, but I feel like I didn't, there's so many things that I didn't do. I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I didn't even eat a, ice, a Mickey ice cream sandwich or like get a Dole Whip. Like there's so many, <laughs> okay, all my things are snack centric. I understand. <laughs> um, but like, I just like, I just feel like I didn't spend enough time at the Magic Kingdom and like. I don't know I like how could I have been there for a week and still feel like I missed out on so many things I don't understand <laughs> like how can that be um so not enough time <laughs> that's a little late um 
All right, and then the last thing that I'm going to say, this one's a little bit harder for me to talk about. Um, so on my birthday, you know, I was there for my birthday, and I was at Magic Kingdom for my birthday. Um, so my mom, who was with me the whole week, she wanted to spend the whole day with me, but she could not get a park reservation for Magic Kingdom on that day. And I didn't want to give up any more Magic Kingdom time. So I made the decision to still go to the Magic Kingdom in the morning, and she went to Epcot in the morning. So I was there at the Magic Kingdom in the morning by myself on my birthday. And like, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big supporter of going on solo trips. Like I'm all for it. Like go and do your thing and just have fun. Because if my options are go by yourself or not go at all, I'm going to pick go by myself every time. But it just like, I guess like just being in the Magic Kingdom alone on your birthday, like hits different. Um, so I definitely had a moment. <laughs> like I'm already getting upset. Oh, this is so stupid. I definitely had a moment that I had to take a break. Um, and I went in the bathroom and cried for 10 minutes. <laughs> it was really tough. And, like, I don't know why. Like, I was just so, like, it wasn't that, like, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, it was just, like, man, I wish that, like, someone was here with me, you know? And I wasn't alone. Um. <laughs> okay, this is awful. Sorry. See, I told you that this is not the type of vlog that I normally like to post. And I'm not doing it for any sort of pity or anything, so don't, like, you don't need to leave in the comment, oh, don't worry, no, whatever. Like, it's not that. It's just, like, sometimes it just hits different, you know? So, um, it was like, oh, I just really wish that I had someone special to share it with. And, like, I love my mom, and I'm so thankful that she came with me. And I wouldn't want to spend it with anyone else, but, you know, sometimes us lifelong single people get sad. And then, like, and that's it. <laughs> um... So, you know, check in on your single friends every once in a while. Make sure they're okay because, you know, everyone else gets uh, days like Valentine's Day and uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day and anniversaries and you get extra special stuff on like Christmas or whatever and like your single friends don't get that. Your single friends don't get uh, baby showers or um, bridal showers or whatever, so... And I'm not, this is not me complaining. I don't, like, want anything special. It's just, like, you know. So, so, the one day, your one birthday, the one birthday that you get, you just, like, hope that, you hope that, like, you matter enough to people that they'll want to spend time with you. I probably shouldn't post this because it's just sad. I'm sorry. I don't mean this. Please don't comment, like, don't feel bad for me. Okay? <laughs> okay, so anyway, I love Disney World with my whole heart. And just because a couple of not so great things happen while you're there doesn't mean that it's not fantastic and you can't turn it around. Because after my, you know, little stint, <laughs> little sad moment, I picked myself up and I put a smile on, I ate a cinnamon roll, and then I jar came and we ate lunch in the castle and it was fantastic and then later that day I met Kyle and I was so excited about that. So, you know, things aren't bad. It's just like sometimes you just have that moment and then the moment passes and you're fine, you know? Okay. Well, I love you guys. Thank you so much to everyone who watches these things. I really, truly appreciate you. And I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.